My name is Kevin and today I'm going to tell you what's new in Directus 10.12 public user registration enhancements. You can now provide a custom verification URL when registering new users. Like with password resets and single sign-on, this means that your users never have to be exposed to Directus if you're using it in your separate application. This release also introduces new environment variables to limit the number of users in your project, admins, users with API access, and users who can access the data studio. This gives you more control over how your project runs, especially when enabling public registration. Fixing expiring sessions. As many of you reported in Directus 10.11, there was a small but impactful bug that would sometimes lock you out of the data studio and requiring your cookies to be cleared. We've now fixed that and obviously that's quite a big user experience thing. So make sure you do update in order to receive these fixes. Community contributions. Thank you to those who contributed towards this release. Thanks to Zahir for fixing an issue where calling the random string utility endpoint with an invalid length parameter could prevent the creation of valid sessions until the next restart. Thanks to Alejandro for an update to one of our extension guides and for Nicholas for fixing the new registration verification method in our SDK. Directors 10.12 is now available on NPM and Docker Hub and we'll see you in the next release.